Hey guys, this is Advanced Logic. Welcome back to 8 Bit Summer with Zelda 2. In the last part, we went through the the third palace and we got the raft and all this other crap, and I actually managed to beat the boss and I managed to fit it all in one part, I think. If I didn't, well, you guys will see that. Anyway, now that we have the raft, onward to the second half of Hyrule. Here's where shit gets real and all that good stuff, because the enemies here are a lot tougher and you're gonna need a certain spell from one of the towns in order to actually figure out what the fuck to do. And hopefully I'm making no crap 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 crap. Woo! Alright! Civilization! Alright, so what is this? Welcome to Naburu. Alright, cool. So let's figure out what to do around here, or at least how to get the spell in this area. Because if you guys haven't noticed up till now, like, you have to do a certain thing or collect a certain item to actually get a spell from someone. Because, like, remember when I grabbed that one little watery thing and then that ended up me... I am thirsty. Alright, cool. Oh, that one's easy. Alright. Want to get some water? <laughs> okay. Why ask the question if I'm just gonna grab it? You have water. Come to my house. Jesus. <laughs> Women. They're so easy to get. I don't know what the fuck I meant by that. Anyway. Well, that was a pretty easy one. I'm guessing because I think this spell is the one we're going to be needing in order to actually kill some enemies. I think it is. This magic will make your sword shoot fire. Yep, this is the one I'm thinking of. The fire spell. It costs really low amounts of uh, magic. And you're probably wondering why. Well, because you actually have to use this to kill certain enemies in this area. If you do anything else, it's not, they're not, anything else isn't going to work. You're going to have to use the fire spell and attack it with the fire that shoots out of your freaking sword. It is kind of useful, but you can only shoot off like one fireball at a time, I think. So yeah, that's kind of, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, I think we could get the upward staff soon, though I don't really know myself. So, I think this is around the edge of town. Yep, let's get out of here. And hopefully let's try to show off what I meant by the whole enemies... Ah, crap. Okay, get the help. Get the help down here. There we go. Oh, I took a few hits. <laughs> Die. There we go. And more of these guys. So, yep, yeah, it's going to be a little more difficult to get around these. And here's the Dondongos. So, yeah, you can only kill these guys with fire. If you try attacking them with your regular sword, then it's not going to work. And the thing that sucks is that you got to keep recasting fire to actually attack enemies in the next area. Just like with every other spell, you have to re keep recasting and all that. And crap. And there's these eye things. I remember these from Sire Goku's Let's Play of it. Like, you can't attack them, you can't attack them while their eyes are closed. Yeah, I can't even remember what to do around here. Oh, crap. Alright, fine. Oh, look at that. Stronger Octorox. They took me two hits. Alright, cool. Hey. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Hey, stop it. Stop. There we go. Aha! Hey. Well, at least I recovered from that fire spell. And there we go. Oh, crap. There we go. We made it through that pretty swimmingly. Alright, so... Ah, more of it! Oh, with bubbles this time. Oh, oh what a twist. Alright. Oh, crap. There we go. I'm trying to avoid as much... As little damage as possible. As... Avoid as little damage as possible. So take more damage. That's what I'm trying to do. See what I did there? Alright. Please tell me... There we go. Huh. What's this? Mountain Town of Darunia. Oh, cool! I think this is where we get another spell, so let's try to figure out what to do here, then. Spells everywhere in this bitch, so I'm just gonna recover some health. There we go. Thank you for that. I thought this was like a... Uh... Enemy area. Because I think there is a town where it's overrun by, em by enemies. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to do around here. Alright, I'm gonna stop humming these freaking songs. Ah, there you are. What do you got to say? Rescue the kidnapped child on the island. The island. Alright. Oh, fuck, I remember this one. I think we have to go to this one place called Maze Island, and then we have to look around for a little kid, save it, and then come back for the spell. So, yeah. Alright, so I just decided to cut out, like, me going through all those things again, because that was gonna be unnecessarily tedious. 
Or, I think that would just be a time waster, so... If I don't cut it out, well, then bash me for it in the comments. And like and subscribe. No, <laughs> I'm kidding, but... Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out how to get to Maze Island. And I can't remember how to do that. And, yeah, you can't attack... You can only attack these guys when their eyes are open. Any other time, they're invincible. Fire spell won't work either, I think. Oh, you have to go through here. I think. Yep, Maze Island. Here we are. So we gotta... And I think we could get, like, a magic jar or a heart, heart container here. There are gonna be some points where you come into enemy encounters and... Yeah. I think there is a path where you could just avoid the enemy encounters altogether, but... And I think we're around here is the palace, too, while we're... Oh, crap, tech tights. Yep, tech tights are also invincible to any other attack other than fire. Plus, they're really fucking annoying! Especially, they keep jumping up and down like that, and crap, I'm gonna die. Fuck it! Fuck you, Tech Tite! Fuck you hard! I'm gonna lie spell it up before I leave. There we go! <laughs> Goddamn Tech Tikes, I hate them because you see them going up and down like that? It gets kind of hard to aim at them because of that. Alright, another fire spell. And act. Hey, I managed to hit him! Alright! And. So yeah, you just gotta keep aiming at them. If you're lucky enough, you could keep them in one spot and then just keep spamming fire from there. And the dongles, alright. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Alright. The dongles aren't nearly as bad, they just go up and down and stuff. And then you just gotta avoid the projectiles, like, accordingly. Tech dykes, though, they really piss me the fuck off. Me, the fuck off. I don't know about you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys can handle them pretty okay. And another encounter. Eh. Kinda wish I had the upward stab right here. There we go. And more Dodongos. Thankfully I have more fire. Fire! Fireballs. Bitches. Take it! Take it like bitches that you are! And I'm gonna die. Die. Die, bastard! Die! There we go. Ooh, alright! Free life spell! Thank you for that! There we go! I think I have enough for another one, but... Eh. Alright, get the hell down here, you tech type. Oh, you could shoot two at a time. Alright, I thought it was just one at a time with the fire spell. Alright. The more you learn. Right, I think we could go the long way. I think one of these ways has the heart container, though I can't remember which way exactly. I think it was over here, maybe? Maybe, maybe? I don't know. Or I think you take the long way, you avoid enemy encounters, though it's just a little longer to- Oh, wait, wait, it's the other way. Crap. We have to go this way, I think. And another enemy encounter. Ah, why? Flying enemies, there, they're shooting projectiles downward. Okay, run, Link, run, run, run. Ah, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, my God. Why haven't I played this game before in my childhood? Why must I suck so much? Anyway, if you want to just avoid the tech deck, you can just downward stab on him and you can just bounce right off. Bounce right off. Oh, crap. Alright. Another free life spell. Sweet. Oh, God. Ah! Get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there, Link. Oh, crap. You're gonna die. You are going to die, man. And it's not gonna be my fault, even though I'm the one controlling you. But you know what I mean. I think over here... No, wait, not there. Not here either. Ah, wait. What the hell am I doing? Crap, I'm going all sorts of places. Sorry, guys, I'm all getting lost in the maze. The island maze. Oh, I gotta stop saying the island like that. Or should I? Yeah, maybe should. Die, bastard? There we go. I think we had to go across that one bridge that you guys saw just now. Maybe. Not entirely sure. And that, I'm just making my way back without even realizing it. Eh, whatever. I think... Nah, wait, I think we've already gone through here. I don't see any enemies. I think I've killed them all. I'm such a murderer. Murderer. I think it was this way. I'm not sure. I can't remember how this maze works. All I know is that the, pal the fourth palace is right there. Hey, how you doing? Alright, so I think I found the kid. Alright. Oh my god, no, why? Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, fuck this. Screw you, man. You're not worth it. Plus, I can't really attack you just like I did with the iron knuckles. Oh my god, a little kid. Let's sell him to the black market. Nah, I'm kidding. 
Anyway, I'm gonna be making my way back to Darunia, and I might cut back there, so I'll see you guys in a little bit, because I don't think you guys want to see me backtracking all the way back there. Backtracking all the way back there, what the fuck am I saying? Alright guys, I'm back in, let's head our way back into Darunia, and let's get this kid back to her, to his grandma or something, I don't even know. It's funny how we pick up the little kid like it's an item, like, duh, 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 duh. oh my god, we got a little kid. Press C to equip it, and swing it at the enemies. Like, the blood, the bloody gore that will ensue will stun your enemies, I don't know, what the fuck. <laughs> I could see that happening, though. Swing a little kid, guts coming out of it, and then the, kid, the enemies are going to be like, oh my god, you sick bastard. Anyway, you are a hero for saving my child. Come. <laughs> Um. Oh god, I am so exhausted in so many ways. Alright, so, we're making a lot quicker progress than I did with the first half of Hyrule. Alright, so two spells in one, bitches. This magic will strengthen a shield. Alright, so do you have the sh reflect spell? I was about to say shield, even though we already have a shield spell. Anyway, reflect spell, it's not exactly the way shield works. What reflect spell does is, uh... It strengthens your shield so that way you could actually deflect more stuff. It was like, you know the fireballs and whatnot that, that you really can't deflect at sometimes? Well, with the reflect spell, you could actually reflect that back. Plus, there's an enemy later on that uh, you're gonna have to reflect their weapon, their attacks back at them in order to actually damage them. <laughs> anyway. Yes. Very tediousness. Alright, so I'm gonna. Holy crap! <laughs> I thought that was the lady to recover my health. Alright, so never mind. <laughs> Is she gone? Alright, I think she's gone. <laughs> Alright, fine. God damn it, I forgot. They're colored orange or something like that. Or they're a different color from everyone else and they stand in front of the goddamn houses. Alright, so. I'm gonna make my way back to the Maze Island, so I'll see you guys in back in. Blah, blah, blah. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, I'm back, and I made my way through most of the maze island, so now we're here inside the palace. I don't know why I paused. I thought I could bring up my menu. And of course, they bring out one of those fiery guys the moment I come in. Bastards. Alright, hurry up and disappear, for fuck's sake. I wanna see if I can get some magic. And Alright, magic. Free life spell out of it. Awesome. Alright, so let's start this freaking second... Ah. Fifth palace, fourth palace, you know what I mean. 